I'm gonna do a little digging in here. Welcome back to another episode of Natural Stones. I'm so excited that we're finally back to give you another section of videos. Today's episode is the Wonder Cube. We got some Wonder Stone from Vernon, Utah when we were on our honeymoon. Here we are at Wonderstone Quarry in the desert of Utah, outside of Vernon. We came in on this road here, and then in the hills over here, we have a little pit there. It's honestly smaller than I thought it would be, but I'm excited to get some Wonderstone. Here we go. And it looks like people have been digging into the What's here to get bigger pieces? So I'm gonna do a little digging. We're both gonna go around and find some pieces. I'll show you what we collect. Nice uh, right here. Outer pieces. The stuff that comes out of here is a lot less weathered because it's underground. But there's a big one over here. But I'm gonna get loose. I know. So the show is here. Okay, so these are the pieces of Wonderstone, the best ones that we collected. So this is what it looks like dry, and when you get it wet, there it is. I like these ones that have the multiple pockets, multiple units all the different waves and fractures, pretty, very pretty. Each crack in the rock creates its own little unit area. And then as the water seeps in, it creates these bands. One of my favorites, it's got this bullseye right here for some reason. All these rocks, a rhyolite and they started off in one, probably just one color. This is what it looks like on the outside, there's nothing there. But as soon as you break it, right here you have these really nice banding lines that are really deep in color. Sometimes they get these fracture lines that don't go all the way through and the banding moves around them because that's like a channel for the water to go into. There's one more like that. I like this one, because it's kind of like a dome shape. You can see the bands on each side. There's a slightly larger one. One more super big one. Great color in this one. I really like that deep orange color in the center. It even kind of turns purple right in the middle. Now, for the thing you've all been waiting for, today's rock. This is the one broken surface. It kind of wraps around here. I like this one because you have the deep red at the bottom, white color and yellow color at the top. There aren't a ton of fractures in it. Uh, that would break, but there are a lot of re-mineralized fractures like right here by my thumb. These are my hand. This is probably the biggest piece I got. It's gonna be awesome.
So I've come to a little bit of a crossroads here. I want to preserve as much of this space as possible because it's really cool how all these cracks are made here and they create their own little band for each block when it was cracked and, and then got remineralized. So that being said, I'm gonna to try to preserve as much of it as possible, but I also want it to be semi-cubical. It's never gonna be perfect, because what I'm using isn't perfect and the rock isn't perfect, but it's gonna look really good, because it's got this face here, this face here, the red on the bottom. So it's just a matter of how cubical do I want it. So I'm gonna take a few minutes and think about it, and then get cutting again. Oh, whoops. Here you have it. This is just the plain red side. This is the slide we just did. Beautiful colors. We have this. I like how that you can follow these cracks all the way around. To here. And then again over here. And this is the only side that isn't the right way. So here's your cube. And when you spin it, it's not perfect. So I have to make a couple decisions on what is going to be chopped off and what I'm going to keep. As you can see, it's not a perfect cube because the saw isn't a perfect saw, homemade. Uh, but this is this is really nice. I am very happy with how this came out. We still have a lot of the patterns. I even got some really cool slabs off of it too. That's pretty nice. This one, this one, a lot of good, a lot of good pieces to go with it as well. So now I'm gonna put it back on and go for the display. I think the best way of displaying it is to chop off the red because there's less color there and do it in a way that it stands up like this and that way you can see the color on all sides when it rotates. I'll just choose one of these four red points and then go from there. Polish it up. It'll be a really cool Wonderstone cube. The Wonder Cube. Woo! That is cool. So I got all my materials here. This is an attachment that goes on the drill. Put it in like so. Tighten it down. I like to do my polishing on the ground. It's just easy to 
push down on it. I have these polishing pads here that I'm gonna work through each of the grits on the cube. I take my polishing pad and I attach the largest grit on it. It has the most damage. This is a 50. Then I dunk it in the water and I'm about to go, but wait, I should always wear a face mask to prevent silicosis in case it gets dry and all the rock dust starts flying up. I'm gonna put this on and here we go. Now the main goal of the first pad is to make sure you get all the saw blade marks out of it. So I'm going to let it dry off and then check all the markings. As you can see it's pretty rough. You might even be able to see some of the markings from the disc. But I'll take it. I'm going to do this a little bit more so that it's smooth. That'll be the only non-corner piece. Everything else looks good. We're going to move on to the next pad after this. Yes! <laughs> That's awesome.